Hello again. Welcome back to some more commentary, this time doing another bit of a special session. It's going to be uh, an analysis session on, I believe their name is Lightning or Litanang? I'm not sure. I'll go with Lightning because that sounds like a, a fun a fun spelling of Lightning. Um, we played a set and I'm going to go through the replays and give them a bit of feedback and critique. See if I can help them improve it all. And this time I did download all the replays, so they're not going to be screwed. Uh, here we are. Alright, so I think we did 21 games total, so let's go through this here. And they are on the right side, so that's going to be what I'm watching mostly. Okay. So I had a, a big chain going, and they had a clear ready on the top right, that's really good. They bought a little bit of stop time with, I think, a, uh, was it a two chain or a combo down in the bottom left? So, it's good stuff so far. Okay, I hit them with the combos and they, they get another clear. Oh, they, they beat me up that round, okay. Um, I'm gonna go through that one again though, because there is something that I want to point out. Not a critique, but more of a strategy that you can use to get a slightly more reliable defense. I think it was right after this clear. Yeah. Okay. So this is that's their setup they've got. They don't have a way to do a garbage chain and get another clear right away, it looks like. So what I would do is uh look at my little pointer here it is. I would arrange this green block in a way so that you could have a clear ready even if it's not a chain. For example, if you move this green block one space over so that this red block falls on top of it, you would have these three red blocks, they would fall so that you could uh, have them vertically aligned so you could make a match. It can be really helpful, because in this case they did have an upper tier to work with, so they'd be safe either way if they saw that, but if they didn't, it's just one extra way to make your defense a little more reliable. Okay, I'll just go to the next one here, since, uh, they beat me up. Okay. Alright, so in that round I did get the, uh, I did get a quick kill, essentially, that my first attack kills them. Um, they were doing some nice chaining, however, just like the last round, they were prepared for my chain with a, a clear ready. In this case, they weren't. Like, you can see me going on 7 chain there, but they're still going in this case, trying to put a little more offense out. A better strategy would be definitely to prepare your defense if you hear a big lad coming. Especially in this case when you've got two towers on either side. That can be a very dangerous setup, because then you have to downstack that when you're topped out. And that's never a situation you want to put yourself in. Okay, round number three, let's go. Okay, nice five chain. So it was it was good of them to do some matches as they were down stacking. I'm not sure if they, that was intentional or not, but still a very good idea because in the event that there were still more combos coming, that would be enough to kill. If you're matching 
as you're down stacking, those combos won't fall until you stop matching, so it can buy you valuable time as you're down stacking. Okay, so to counter my combos, get a uh, ton of panels. Oh, and once again, they beat me up. Alright. Actually, hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna go through this one more time, because there is one small thing that I want to add. Uh, right near the end, of course, so we gotta sit through a little more gameplay. Uh, it had to do with uh, how they were clearing garbage at the end there. One more combo, that could have been GG. Okay, I think they were trying to set up a clear with that one, but uh, weren't, weren't able to because of the six combo. So right here, my immediate reaction would be, let me pull up my pointer, my handy dandy little little arrow. I would make a clear with these three greens here, because that will get rid of all the garbage, and you might have an opportunity to work with a clean board for a bit and arrange a clear for the next attack that I'm going to be throwing out. And uh, here, whoop. Uh, instead, they went for a four combo there, which broke their clear. They did get one with the purples, so that's still good. Uh, but if I had have thrown that attack out a little bit earlier, it could have been a little risky to do that. So, just something to consider. Okay. And as before, um, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, I won't be critiquing, like, your ability to chain or anything like that. That's, like, it's just general skill that you get throughout practice. Ooh, they burned their clear a little bit early there. So you saw they did, um, I think that was a time delay chain, but then also did a match on the left side before the garbage fell down a bit. So... Then they're stuck down there with two rows, which is super dangerous, because then you can get locked out really easily. Uh, I didn't have enough garbage to top them out, thankfully. Or oh, did I? Okay, there we go. They get the clear. I don't think that's much of a critique, as much of it's probably just a little execution error. Uh, just the one little thing I'm noticing. Ooh! Okay, so they did see their second tier, which is good. Uh, there was an easier clear with the greens rather than the dark blues, but it's still good that they looked up there and saw that. Uh, s seeing the easier clear is probably just a matter of board awareness, which is something you generally get through gameplay experience, I'd say. Oh yeah, those two towers. See, definitely want to be careful of those two towers. I'm going to play that one again. Yeah, see, if, if you hear your opponent with a uh, fairly large chain coming, and you've got a huge tower on one side, it's pretty good, or a really good idea to break that thing down and get prepared. Alright, nice chain. Six chain, six combo into clear. One thing that jumps out to me right now is, uh, doo -doo -doo, where's my cursor? There it is. You could set up an eight chain, or sorry, a combo, I get that mixed up all the time, with the greens, the five greens and the three purples here, and you could just tuck that away in the corner since uh, Lightning already has a clear with the dark blues here, and they've got enough panels to work with in this area, so that if they get into a tricky situation 
bam, you could pop this thing off and get a bit, uh, a bit of extra time, shake up your board a bit. I'm not sure if they do that or not. Oh, no, they, they won, <laughs> apparently. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. I would have liked to have seen how they, uh, how they handled that situation. Yeah, arranging that eight, it also depended on how much time you had. They they only had a small block of garbage there, so they probably wouldn't have had a lot of extra time while the garbage is clearing to prepare it, but if you do have an opportunity, it can be really helpful to just get something tucked away for, for an emergency. <laughs> Uh, see, now right there, that's a situation where Lightning had the the four combo prepared for the clear, which is good. However, if they had have waited just, like, one more second, that big attack that was coming would have also been, like, it would have been cleared as well. So if you hear your opponent um, about to finish their attack, or they are finishing their attack, and you're not topped out, it, it can be really good to wait just an extra moment so that the garbage can fall and then you can clear all of it. Because now you've got those extra panels uh, dropped on top of your board which can make getting the clear on that next layer of garbage a little bit more tricky. It's like, oh, not quite topped out. Oh, the four combo. Yeah. In that situation, it could have been different. If uh, if they had just waited a moment for the extra garbage clear, but it's all a learning process. It's all good. Ooh, yeah, they burned their clear with the light blues a little early. They still get did get the clear, which is good. Of course. Okay, just clearing away. Ooh, tough spot. I'm gonna replay that one again because there is just one more thing I want to mention. Oops, bumped my desk. This one is, uh, more about knowing what your opponent is doing, which can be a little bit hard at the Platinum level. Like, I know that when I was Platinum, I'm, I mean, even though I'm low diamond now, I still have trouble focusing on what my opponent is doing a lot of the time. So, I don't blame Lightning for uh, maybe not latching onto this right away, but... So, in that last second or two, you could hear me doing a lot of combos or small chains. So, in this situation, because Lightning was not topped out, uh, they could have waited an extra moment, because there's a lot of combo damage about to fall. There it is! And all that combo garbage would have been cleared, and then turned into panels for a second tier. So, making sure to wait for a little extra garbage to clear can be very helpful. Okay, they get the clear. I like that they they did start downstacking before I launched my attack, and they started preparing their defenses. That was really good. Never want to be caught out with those two towers, those, those dangerous little things. Wait, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but... Uh, I believe Lightning is ranked in game as gold, but they have uh, diamond or sorry platinum pending verification as their Discord role. So hard to say they're probably closer to platinum than gold, but we'll see. So they have a ten chain going, but with how big that is, it might be a good idea to cut the chain 
because I've got a clean board and I've got free reign to just do whatever I want. I can be making tons of combos, I can be making some like factory chains or whatever. Okay, so they do end up uh, getting a new chain there. Oh, no clear though. Yeah, so that was like, knowing when it can be a good idea to cut your chain. Okay, nice 5 chain opener. Good down stack for the clear. Okay, they are piling on the offense now, that's good. It's ready with a clear, very nice. Not much offense from me this round. I might have been floundering a little bit. That is a weird little garbage sandwich there. What in the world? <laughs> okay. Lightning firing off some pretty good attacks. Some like, uh... Uh, what should I say? Combos and small chains. That can be very good for getting a kill on your opponent if they already have damage. Both of us just kind of flopping around this round. <laughs> Look at that! On my side, on the left, that was a, uh, a quick combo storm from Lightning, and I had a huge tower on the right side. That could have been a, uh, a kill right there. Okay, Lightning buying some time, gets the clear, very nice. Now I kind of want to say that it might be a little risky to do huge time delay chains, because you have to be aware of what panels you have underneath it as well. Like, let's see. Okay, so in this case they have the... Where's my pointer? They got the, the reds. And they've also got the purples that they can use for a garbage chain. Um, when you do a huge time delay chain off the garbage, it uses a lot of those like uh, vertical too high stacks of panels. If you don't have much underneath it, then it can be very risky because it also uses a lot of panels as well. Uh, Lightning was prepared for it though, so more of just something to consider when you're doing time delays. I think that might be just more uh, general advice than what's applicable to this situation in specific. Ooh, tough setup, no clear. Oh, see, I've got lightning in a tough situation again. Yeah, they uh, they had that huge tower, and with a big tack or attack, doing some down stacking can be very risky. Okay, this is good. This time they they were ready for it. They had a clear with the dark blues. Now, even though they didn't send any offense, it's Better to be alive and send nothing than dead. I mean, might be a little bit self-explanatory, but... It's never too late for a comeback, you know? Lightning could make some, some great defensive plays here. Okay, they're doing some chains to buy some time. Shift up their board. Doing some down stacking. Still no clear yet. Doing another... Oh, can't quite get the clear with the greens. I think they played that quite well though. They um, they used their stop time and shake time very nicely, but just uh, couldn't get that last match in time. Oh, 
Oh, okay, okay. Just managed to squeak it out there. Now, in a situation like this, where you've got a large block of garbage, where's my pointer? I love this little thing. Uh, they're doing a double time delay chain with the yellows and greens, which you you can get away with because you've still got a lot of garbage here to work through, and it's one solid block, so it's going to be fairly easy to do chains off. But you also want to be very conscious of how many panels you have left. In a situation where you don't have too many left, like here, and you don't have anything in the second tier, yeah, another double time delay. Or not, not, not actually a time delay that time, but... On level 10, it's very good to have a little reservoir of panels so that you can do some matches or combos to buy some time in the event that you can't get a clear to the garbage. But I also want to do mention... I also want to do mention... English should be like... <laughs> they, they cut their chain very intentionally, which is very good, because if you look at my situation, not only do I not have a clear ready, but I've got a nasty little tower on the left side. And that combo on the top there might kill me. Oh, okay, I just managed to down stack. Okay, let's look back at a uh, lightning side. Oh, not able to shift that blue over for the last clear. Yeah, that's tough. That's where the uh, reservoir of panels could come in handy, because if, you, if you're not able to get the next clear, then you can... You've got a bit of a safety net, so to speak. What's this music? German dude. Okay. Nice gameplay so far. Not really much offense coming from me there. <laughs> Six chain? Very good. It looks like they definitely have the upper hand on me there. Yeah, I'm not sending much at all. They've, uh... Looks like they might have me. Awesome. Ready with the clear. Love to see it. Ooh, and they get the kill on me with all those little attacks. And it worked out. Considering their options. Okay. Ah, oh, see, that was another situation where uh, waiting for the garbage to drop could have been helpful. They still get the clear, which is good. Oh, tight situation. Okay. Nice clear with the greens. Oh. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, another tower. Okay, they- oh, okay, they went for the light, uh, light blues. They did have an easier clear with the yellows, but that's okay. In that situation, they lived. Ah, tough spot there. They may have benefit from going down below and seeing if they could do any combos or chains to get some time, rather than uh, fiddling around with the top where there weren't any matches available. Oh, 
Oh, that is annoying. You hate to see it when... Oh yeah. When you get a chain going, and then you accidentally make a match with the next trigger for your chain. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Are you afraid of I tried to choose a playlist that didn't have any lyrics in it, but... Dude. Okay, that was... That was good what they did. I'm gonna, once again, replay this. Lightning was in a tough spot, but they... Um, used some matches to get a little extra time. Is very good practice on level 10. See, right there, that was great. When you uh, they match those purples, they're running out of uh, both shake and stop time, get a little extra time to down stack, but because there were combos on top, uh, I had punished the down stack and got a kill. Okay, down stack before my attack went off, I was ready for it. That was a very good defense there. Okay. That was pretty nice defense, I would say. They, um... Lightning did have a few clears available. While they were doing some chains and combos underneath. But, I think they still handled it pretty well. They... They didn't end up, like, putting themselves in a terrible position or anything. They still had clears prepared after they did their attack, which is... Very good. Oh, tough spot. Um, tier awareness could have helped there because there was a clear in the second tier and there was not in the bottom layer. So if they have seen that in time, they may have gotten away with a clear. Tough spot, but they are doing some nice defense. Awesome, and they get the clear in the second tier. Now they do have... Oh, they had another match in the second tier, but uh, the rising stat crept up on them. It looks like they were doing the right thing at, down below. They were just about to go for a combo, but just didn't quite get there in time. Alright, so this is the last round that we have. Good eight. Now, with that four combo, I'm gonna restart that one. I probably would have used that four combo to clear. Now, let's wait for it to play back again. Nice eight. Okay, now you see that. There's just, uh, oh, where's my pointer? Oh shoot, my pointer was on the board that whole time? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh dear. Okay, so, these three panels, if you just quickly downstack those, since you do have time, there's, you're not topped out, you could easily clear it with these, uh, these purples. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now see, they actually were waiting for the garbage this time. However, unfortunately it didn't work because they had these three panels here uh, separating the layers of garbage. So, good strategy, but just it's also good to know when you can do it. Okay, so that session ended a little abruptly. I had someone come into my room and I had to uh, stop the recording, but I basically covered everything I think I wanted to cover there because that was the end of the last replay. So what I would probably suggest to Lightning is be very aware of your towers. That's for sure, because those are very lethal. Uh, what else? Maybe get a little bit of uh, chain practice in, just you know, go into one player versus or endless and practice doing some chains because it can be a little hard at level 10, but if your openers were a bit stronger, uh, I think you'd be winning quite a few more games. And being aware of when you can wait just an extra second to clear some extra garbage, that will also be very helpful. It can, it can help your own defense a ton. All right, so I think that's all I want to say for this session. Uh, it was a little bit weird. I had to do a couple cuts there, but uh, hopefully this still contained some good information. Uh, Lightning, if you're watching this, thanks for the rounds. Always fun. See you guys later.